What happens to your body? If you drink beet juice for 30 days, is beet juice the secret to supercharging your health? Or is it just another overhyped wellness trend that's more flash than substance? The truth lies somewhere in the middle, and it's not as simple as chugging a glass and calling it a day. If you want real benefits, you need to know how beet juice actually works in your body. Stick around, because today we're re-diving into what happens when you drink beet juice every day for 30 days, the science behind it explained in plain terms, and the mistakes that could derail your efforts. Let's follow Sarah, a 67-year-old retiree from a small town in Ohio. Sarah's been feeling sluggish lately. Her energy's low, her joints ache, and her blood pressure's been creeping up at her checkups. She's heard whispers about beet juice being a miracle drink and decides to give it a try for 30 days. But before we get to her results, let's break down what's really going on when you sip that vibrant red juice. The beet juice breakdown. What's in it? Beets are like nature's multivitamin, packed with goodies that can do wonders if they get where they need to go. The star player is nitrates. Think of them as tiny power-ups that help your blood vessels relax and improve blood flow. Then there's betalanes, the pigments that give beets their deep red color. These act like a cleanup crew, mopping up harmful molecules called free radicals that can damage your cells. Beets also have folate, manganese, and potassium, which are like the supporting cast, helping your body run smoothly. But here, as the catch, just drinking beet juice doesn't mean all these nutrients magically do their job. It's like mailing a package. You can send it, but if it doesn't reach the right address, it's not much use. Let us explore how beet juice gets from your glass to your cells and why that journey matters. The journey of beet juice, from glass to gut. When Sarah takes her first sip of beet juice, it lands in her stomach and moves to her intestines. Think of your gut as a busy train station. Everything you eat or drink passes through, but not everything gets a ticket to the rest of your body. Some nutrients stay in the gut. Others hop on the bloodstream train, and a select few make it all the way to your cells, where the real magic happens. For beet juice, about 75% of those nitrates stay in the gut initially. The rest start a slow journey toward the bloodstream. But here's where it gets tricky. Your body doesn't just wave them through. Your liver, like a strict security guard, checks everything that comes from your gut. It decides what gets to stay and what gets sent packing. For nitrates, some get converted into other forms, like nitrite, in your saliva and gut, which is a good thing. We'll get to why later. But a lot of those nutrients need help to make it past the liver and into your cells. Why nitrates are the MVPs? Let's focus on those nitrates because they're the heavy hitters in beet juice. Imagine your blood vessels as a garden hose. Over time, especially as we age, that hose can get stiff, making it harder for water or blood to flow through. Nitrates are like a lubricant that softens the hose, letting blood flow more freely. This can lower blood pressure and make it easier for your heart to pump. In Sarah's case, her blood pressure was hovering around 140-90, not great for her age. After a week of drinking 8 ounces of beet juice daily, she noticed she wasn't as winded climbing the stairs. That's because nitrates help produce nitric oxide in your body, a molecule that's like a traffic cop, directing blood flow to where it's needed most. Studies show that drinking about 8-12 ounces of beet juice daily can lower blood pressure by 5-10 mm charges in just a few weeks. For Sarah, that's enough to nudge her numbers closer to a safer range. The Antioxidant Army Betalanes to the rescue. Now let's talk about betalanes, the red pigments in beets. Think of your body as a house constantly under attack by tiny termites. Those are free radicals, rogue molecules that damage your cells and speed up aging. Betalanes are like pest control, neutralizing those termites before they cause too much trouble. This is especially important for older folks like Sarah, whose bodies might not fight off damage as well as they used to. But here's the rub. Betalanes are fragile. If you cook your beets or leave your juice sitting out too long, those pigments start to break down like a sandcastle crumbling in the tide. To get the most out of them, Sarah learns to drink her juice fresh, ideally within 30 minutes of juicing. She also stores her beets in the fridge to keep them potent. This way, more betalanes make it through her gut and into her bloodstream, where they can start their cleanup work. The Gut Connection Beets as a Prebiotic Powerhouse even the nitrates and betalanes that stay in Sarah's gut aren't wasted. Your gut is like a bustling city full of bacteria. Some friendly, some not so much. 
Beets act like a fertilizer for the good bacteria, helping them grow stronger and keep the troublemakers in check. This can reduce bloating and improve digestion, which Sarah noticed after just 10 days. Her usual afternoon puffiness was gone, and she felt lighter after meals. This prebiotic effect also strengthens the gut barrier, like reinforcing the walls of that city to keep invaders out. A stronger gut means less inflammation, which is a big deal for folks over 60, since chronic inflammation can fuel everything from joint pain to heart issues. Getting past the liver. The absorption challenge. Remember that liver security guard? It's great at its job, but sometimes too good. Most of the nitrates and betalanes that make it to Sarah S. bloodstream get tagged by the liver and flushed out before they can reach her cells. Only about 10-20% of the nitrates and even less of the betalins make it through to do their work. To boost absorption, Sarah tries a trick. She drinks her beet juice with a small handful of walnuts. The healthy fats in the nuts act like a fairy, helping more nutrients cross from the gut to the bloodstream. She also avoids drinking it with high-fiber meals, which can slow things down like traffic jamming up the highway. By week two, she's feeling more energized, and her morning walks are getting longer. Cellular superpowers, when beets reach the finish line. When those nitrates and betalanes finally reach Sarah's cells, that's where the real transformation happens. Inside your cells is like a factory where all the important work, energy production, repair, and defense, takes place. Nitrates boost nitric oxide production, which not only helps blood flow, but also improves how your cells use oxygen. This means more energy for Sarah's daily chores and less fatigue. Betalanes, meanwhile, dial down inflammation at the cellular level, like turning down the heat on a stove that's been simmering too long. They also protect Sarah A.S. mitochondria, the tiny power plants in her cells, helping them churn out energy more efficiently. By week three, Sarah notices her joint stiffness is easing, and she's sleeping better, too. The brain boost. Clearer thinking, happier mood. One of the most exciting benefits for Sarah comes in week four. Her mind feels sharper. Beats don't just help the body. They're like a tonic for the brain. Nitric oxide improves blood flow to the brain, like opening more lanes on a highway, so oxygen and nutrients get to neurons faster. This can improve memory and focus, which is a big win for Sarah, who's been forgetting where she parked her car lately. Betalanes also play a role here, reducing inflammation in the brain that can cloud thinking. Sarah starts noticing she's quicker with her crossword puzzles and feels more upbeat, thanks to beats supporting her brain's natural growth factors, which are like fertilizer for new brain connections. The 30-day payoff. Sarah's results. After 30 days, Sarah's a believer. Her blood pressure's down to 130.85, her energy's up, and she's walking a mile each morning without huffing and puffing. Her joints feel looser, and she's not reaching for pain relievers as often. Even her digestion's smoother, with less bloating and discomfort. The best part? She feels mentally sharper like the fog has lifted. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Sarah learned a few lessons along the way. Drinking too much beet juice, say 16 ounces a day, gave her an upset stomach. Sticking to 8 to 12 ounces was the sweet spot. She also had to watch out for the red scare. Beet juice can turn your urine or stool pink, which freaked her out at first until she realized it's harmless. How to do it right. Tips for your 30-day challenge. Want to try Sarah's experiment? Here's how to make beet juice work for you. 1. Start small. Begin with 8 ounces daily. Mix with apple or carrot juice if the taste is too earthy. 2. Keep it fresh. Juice your beets fresh or buy cold-pressed juice. Drink it right away to preserve those fragile betalins. 3. Pair smartly. Sip it with a small fatty snack like nuts or avocado to boost absorption. Avoid high-fiber meals at the same time. 4. Time it right. Drink it in the morning for an energy boost or a few hours before exercise to maximize stamina. 5. Check with your doc. If you're on blood pressure meds or have kidney issues, talk to your doctor first, as beets are high in nitrates and oxalates. The catch, not all. Beet juice is equal. Not every bottle of beet juice is a winner. Store-bought juices often have added sugars or are pasteurized, which kills off some of the nutrients. Sarah found that juicing her own beets or buying fresh, cold-pressed juice from a local market gave her the best results. Organic beets are a smart choice, too, since they re less likely to have pesticides that could mess with your gut good bacteria. The bigger picture. Why beets aren't a cure-all. Beet juice is powerful, but it's not a magic bullet. 
Sarah still needed to eat well, stay active, and manage stress to see the full benefits. Think of beet juice as a booster rocket. It gives you a lift, but you still need a solid spaceship to get to the stars. Combining it with a diet rich in greens, lean proteins, and healthy fats will amplify the effects. What's next for Sarah? By the end of her 30-day challenge, Sarah's hooked. She's not just drinking beet juice for the health perks. She loves how it makes her feel. She's planning to keep it up. Maybe mixing in other juices like ginger or celery for variety. Her advice? Give it a try, but do it smart. Start slow, listen to your body, and don't expect miracles overnight. So, what could happen if you drink beet juice for 30 days? You might feel more energized, move easier, and think clearer, just like Sarah. Your heart, gut, and brain could thank you. Try it out and let me know how it goes.